Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Android 12 beta number two. So let's dive in and get started. Now, as you can see, I do have a brand new system update available. Now, this is going to install the beta version of Android 12. This is beta number two. The size is going to be 525 megabytes. So let me tap on download and install. I'm going to be right back as soon as the update is in fact complete. All right, so the update is now complete. Now let's take a look at all the new features that come with the beta number two. Now these were a bunch of things that were announced, but they were not available with beta number one. So that's exactly what we're gonna look at in this video. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering whether or not your phone right now is eligible for an Android 12 beta, you can click the link down below. It's gonna take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you can see what devices are eligible but right now we're gonna cover all the new features with the beta 2, let's dive in. So the first thing that's very important is when you pull the notifications panel down twice, now we do have a power, a software power mini. When I click on it, it actually expands up and gives me a power option. So I can do power off, I can do restart, or I can do the emergency option, okay? So that software power menu is in fact brand new and that is absolutely fantastic alrighty so that's something that uh, it looks like we got from Samsung smartphones the next thing has to do with the volume slider so now it looks a little bit different so when you press volume up or down you are gonna see a more compact design alrighty as you can see it's a little bit different more compact more clean than before so that's absolutely fantastic now another huge thing that the Android beta number one did not have is the fact that we were missing the material UI theming option. Now we have much more. So if I press and hold, and by the way, even this styling option has changed. It looks a little bit different. By the way, it's very fast. That's very interesting how fast that thing is with a brand new animation. But when I go inside over here, okay, now when I go all the way down, I even have this solid colors option. So for example, if I were to pick a um, wallpaper from here, let's just go with, uh, with blue, okay? Blue solid color. And if I tap on apply, uh, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna say home screen and lock screen. And I want you guys to notice how everything else changes based on the color of the wallpaper. So when I pull this down, things are now blue. Earlier they were, they were yellow and greenish based on that wallpaper. Uh, even if I go to the lock screen, that's gonna look a little bit different. Look at the way that just comes up. Look at the from the side. You see how it just comes in. That's absolutely beautiful. So let me show you one more example so you get the idea. I'm gonna press and hold. I'm gonna tap on wallpaper and style. Let's go to a color. Let's go with um, uh, green, okay? So I'm gonna apply. When I do that, it's gonna also change everything. So we have that green wallpaper. When I pull this down, things are different, okay? This should have been green probably, it's a beta, but again, things are different. If I go into my settings, everything's, there's a there's a green hue in here that, I'm, that you cannot see, but I can see easier with this. Uh, one more thing, with the beta number two, under each one of these options, we now have the description back. So in the beta one, it was saying connected devices, but it wasn't giving us the details at the bottom. Now those details saying Bluetooth, Android Auto, driving mode, all that is back. Uh, assistant over here under apps, all that is back. So the descriptions under the settings are also back. Now let me try one more thing. Let me pick a wallpaper from here. Let's uh, pick this cool wallpaper here. Okay, let's see if it's gonna change uh, the overall theme of the phone. So I'm gonna pull this down. Yep, so this uh, color here is matching up with the color of the uh, background. Now, one more thing I wanna talk about is when I pull these things down, uh, even the presentation of notifications are now a little bit different, okay? So they're rounded edges as was before, but now they are in their own little bubble, as you can see. It just looks a little bit more refined and nicer overall. Uh, another huge update is again in this panel, we now have the internet option right here. We have the wallet option right here. And we have a bunch of other controls. Uh, one of the big things that we have here, if I go over here, if I tap on the edit icon here, 
uh, you are going to notice that we have this thing right here. If I am able to locate that, this one, the mic access and the camera access. So let me grab this, put in the active area. So what you can do now is you can actually disable or enable mic access and camera access and that's going to make sure no app can access those two things which is fantastic it's a great little privacy feature so now it is allowed now it is allowed all right so that's great now i can any application can use these guys but i can block them at will which is again a huge privacy thing talking about privacy if i go to my settings and if i go down just a little bit under privacy the privacy dashboard is now available okay again this was shown in Android 12, but it was not available in beta 2. So it shows you basically in the past 24 hours, location has been used, microphone has been used. If I tap it, it tells me exactly what used my location. You can see Google used my location twice. And from here, I can go into manage permissions and actually modify the permissions for that application that is in fact accessing my, lo my location same thing with the camera, same thing with the microphone. If I tap on this one, Google accessed my microphone at this time and I can go in and manage the permissions for that app and how it is able to access my microphone. So that's the basic idea behind privacy dashboard. If I tap here, we also have access to everything, body sensors, calendar, call logs, contacts. What applications are using my call logs? Android Auto, the phone. Makes sense, dual, makes sense, okay? But with the privacy dashboard, you can keep an eye on what's happening. Uh, let me look at one more thing over here, privacy dashboard. I can go over here, I can tap on show system, and that's gonna show all the system apps that are accessing things on my phone. Again, it gives you a breakdown. So you can switch between a hide system, you can show system, or it can hide system. It's gonna be up to you. Now, one more thing that we have, it may not be available on my phone. Let me see if it is available. But at the bottom here, you are going to see a little wallet icon. So you're going, to, you're going to be able to make payments by clicking that wallet icon. If you have Google Pay and stuff like that. So that's going to show up on the lock screen as well. Another huge thing is when I launch my, let's just launch my camera. So when I do launch my camera on the top, you are going to see a green indicator light that says that this application that I have right now is accessing my camera. So that's the dot right there. Now it turns into a dot. But I, when I launch it for the first time, let me launch it again, it shows up as an actual icon, as you saw earlier. Now if I go to my video, it should be both the microphone and the voice, I'm sorry, and the camera that is going to show up right here. Uh, nothing is happening here, but that dot should give you the idea of what's happening. If you see that dot, that means your camera is being accessed, your microphone is being accessed. It could be any app, not just a camera. So that way, you know the app that you're using is doing something sneaky if it did not mention that it's using your camera or your microphone. So that's basically Android 12 beta number two. There's a bunch of other things, but these were the major highlights. The big thing that I'm liking is this software power menu. Uh, that clearly has come over from Samsung phones. So now the power button can be used for other functions. Remember this guy, if I go into my settings, has a lot of things that you can do with it. So if I tap on system, if I tap on, uh, let me see, gestures, and if I go over to power menu, I can use it for the assistant. So if I press and hold now, it can be my assistant. If I do disable this, and if I press and hold this, the power menu appears like this in the middle, blurring out and darkening, I'm sorry, just darkening what's behind it. All right. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?